the greatest thing is to win things. So they've brought in a manager that they believe will win things. They've recruited someone as director of football that comes with a very solid reputation. I spoke to Frank Arneson about him. Frank Arneson is almost like the godfather of football, uh, of sporting directors, technical directors, and he raved about Brands. And he's one of those that doesn't need to be front of house. He doesn't need to be front of the cameras. You know, he's the he's the power behind the throne, and he will give solid balance to the relationship between Ancelotti, the owner, um, the football intelligence. Um, my impression of him without knowing him and my impression of, based upon the feedback that I've heard about him is that he is an incredibly capable operator. Now, I would suspect Everton, have, by tying him down to a three-year contract, have made certain concessions, brought him even closer to the fold of the structure of the club. Yeah, which will will make other clubs sort sort of look at the way that sporting directors are being recruited and the expectations of how invested they are in a structure of a business. So you might find that, that, that sporting directors get even more from the jobs than they've currently got. But he is a very decent operator, and Everton will be pinning a lot of the opportunity. Fahad's right to say that recruitment defines, but of course managing the players you recruit defines really, because you can recruit really good players, and if they don't work well with the manager and play nicely with the manager, then you can have recruited the best players in the world if the manager isn't utilising them properly. So the consistency, it's it's grown-up thinking from Mashiri, he knows that he's spent a lot of money in this club he knows that he's probably prepared to spend a lot more money and he wants to make sure that the conduit for that money being spent is somebody that gets what he wants gets the fabric of this football club and what you find with Brands is he doesn't just duck in and out of jobs he was at um, um, where was he at the Dutch club uh, he was at um, uh, Eindhoven sorry for eight nine years yeah and and they won three Eredivisies so he stays in jobs he builds uh, a proper profile for what the football club looks like from, I suspect, from the academy, the youth development, through to the senior team recruitment, through to the engagement of the manager, through to the interface between the manager and the boardroom, which is a key component of that job. Mm. And I would suspect, listening to Mashiri, he's got a guy that understands the football operation but translates that into the commercial nous of someone like Mashiri. Because Mashiri will get football... But he won't get it because, you know, he's not been a manager or a player. No. He won't get the language of football. Yeah. He'll get an understanding of it. Then you've got someone that bridges that gap that goes, I speak the language of football, but I also speak the language of commerce. And that's what I think Brands also adds to the equation. Now, people could argue that the Gilfie Sigerson transfer was overpriced and that wasn't a great bit of business. But you look at Richarlison, I think, is a really decent player. You look at some of the recruitment they've got there and you've got to look at what he's going to do next. Because Everton are a work in progress. Across the docks to Bramley, wherever they're going, oh, yeah. to build a football club that's yeah. going to have an all-purpose all built stadium, to go against their rivals, to go against Man City, to achieve what mashiri has gone in there for. He hasn't gone in to spend half a billion quid so Everton can stand still. He hasn't gone in there to spend half a billion quid and upwards so they can do what David Moyes did once. They've gone in there to put Everton at the top table. Well, that's, I'm and just going to say that, and that's one of my favourite phrases that you use. I mean, if, if you want to sit at the top table, as you constantly say to me in football... Put the best guys in there. You've got to put the best guys in yeah. there. And that is what you're telling me Mishiri has done here with Marcel Brands. I mean, you need a top sporting director, yeah. and they've got one. Well, you know, we're, t we're seeing the increase in interest around sporting directors. We're seeing the argument being consistently and persistently advanced that United's, Man United's failure to get one is a, is a thorn in their paw. It doesn't help them evolve. I don't know, you know, they've got a great youth academy that's bringing out people like Mason Greenwood and so-and-so full from Marcus Rashford, so they ain't doing too badly, Man United. Management recruitment, that's a different discussion. I'll leave that alone for the purpose of this one. But you look at Everton and you think to yourself... There's so much that they were, they have the potential to get right. I do have reservations against Ancelotti because certain people talk to me about, is he at the stage in his career where Everton is a retrograde step? Why is he going there? He's been at the other levels. But that's other people's opinion, and I advance it in a different show, which calls people to go, what are you talking about, Jordan? Look, Ancelotti is doing a decent job. He should be doing a decent job because Mashiri is giving him the tools. Yeah. And part of that yeah. is a director of football. Mm. And brands, to my mind, will be, it'll be interesting when we come out of COVID and we've got a landscape that's more normal, what Everton do to, to, to manage their recruitment process. But also it'll be interesting to see what happens underneath the first team, how their youth development is coming through. Because I've only really seen Tom Davis come out of their youth academy. And I'm, I might be talking out of turn. Everton fans will no doubt correct me. But I think there's a lot more right about Everton than there is wrong. Sure. And he's sure. part of that.